If you're a music lover but don't necessarily love the idea of having speakers sitting on your counters or bookshelves, Samsung's got a product here that may be just what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and this is the Samsung Music Frame. It's a unique take on what a speaker can look like. At first glance, it very much just looks like a picture frame. It's 13.8 inches wide, 13.8 inches tall, and 2.1 inches deep, and it comes with a bezel that's interchangeable, so you can customize the look of the frame, much like Samsung's Frame TVs. Then you get to the center of the music frame, and this is where you can add a couple of different things. The first would be a picture, not a digital photo, an actual paper photo, which gives it more of a traditional look and feel. As for the photo size, it can be up to 8x10 inches, but the actual viewing window in the frame is 8x8, so keep that in mind when you're choosing a picture to put in there. The other option is to print out an art panel that you can create on a site called marble.com. These panels are about 13 inches by 13 inches, so they fill up more of the front, but they're also more costly than just printing out a photo. So you get a couple different ways to change the display on this one, but that's very much a secondary feature when it comes to the music frame. The audio quality is the main focus here, and it absolutely shines, but I'll get to that part in a little bit. If you look on the back, you'll notice a couple drivers along with an optical input for connecting things like a TV, Blu-ray player, or a gaming console, and a port for connecting an optional SmartThings dongle. You've also got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in for wireless connectivity. Then, if you move over to the side, you'll see some touch controls. The circle at the top is a multi-function button that turns the speaker on and off and cycles through the inputs. Under that are the volume controls, and the bottom button is for turning the built-in microphones on and off or for activating Bluetooth pairing. Now let's talk about the sound quality. I was a little skeptical with the price point. It retails for about $400 and it's a standard picture frame. So the audio quality is really what has to carry this product to make it feel like you're getting your money's worth. And thankfully, it does. This is a two channel system made up of six drivers and it supports Dolby Atmos audio if you're looking for a truly immersive experience. Even if you're not using Atmos though, it still creates fantastic separation and using the space fit option makes it sound like a much bigger speaker. Mids and highs are fantastic, vocals and dialogue are presented well and easy to hear, plus you have active voice amplifier and adaptive sound options to help if needed. Even the bass was really good. It was definitely more than enough to feel and helped everything sound fuller and just more engaging overall. I figured this would sound good, but I was still surprised at just how much I liked it. And you can use it as more than just an individual speaker. It can work along with your TV if it supports Q-Symphony. You can add up to two music frames that can either be used as front left and right channels, basically like a soundbar replacement, or you can use them as rear left and right channels for better surround performance. You also have the ability to group up to five of them through the SmartThings app if you want music playing in several rooms at the same time. The other option is just to use a single one to enhance the TV's audio, which can be done through Wi-Fi if you have a compatible Samsung TV or with an optical cable, and then it doesn't matter what type of TV. And it definitely makes a noticeable difference. Now, to control all this and really to get the most out of the music frame, you'll want to use the SmartThings app. It lets you adjust equalizers, turn on the various audio enhancements that I talked about earlier. You can see what's playing, adjust the volume, rename the speaker, and more. Or you also have the option to just use it as a Bluetooth speaker speaker and you can just adjust the volume using the buttons on your phone or on the side of the frame. Our recommendation is to use the app though because it lets you do so much more. The music frame also has far field microphones built in that work with Samsung's Bixby Assistant or with Amazon Alexa and it works with Google as well if you have another connected Google device. In addition to those, it supports features like Apple's AirPlay 2 and Chromecast. So this is made to fit in with almost any type of smart home system that you might have. The music frame offers a lot of versatility. If you're looking for a way to improve your TV's audio, you can use it. If you appreciate having a good quality speaker to listen to your music on, you've got that here too. Or if you like the idea of having audio throughout your home but either don't have the budget to run wires all over the place and install speakers in your walls or ceilings, or you just don't like the looks of traditional speakers, this is something you'll really want to take a closer look at. Plus, it can sit on a shelf or be mounted to the wall. It's truly a unique product that also performs extremely well. If you have any questions on the Samsung Music Frame or you need help finding audio products for your home, be sure to give our experts a call at the number down in the description. We're always happy to help. Or you can check out our full selection of speakers at app.com too. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one.